coaches, a lot of you ask how you can utilize your practice time to get the most out of your players. Okay, we can run that fast break, the times five, times six, times eight, whatever you want to do there, which is a great conditioner. But sometimes you need to practice on more specifics uh, other than just the team template, so to speak. So what we want to do here is show you a drill called uh, uh, five four one, which is the end of the break for the one man and the five four is trailer. All right, we're going to practice a couple of things. The one man's going to push the ball with a long dribble to the three-point line. The 5-4 man's going to be sprinting, either to take the jump shot here so you can pass to him here for the three, or if you don't pass it to him, he's going to slash the basket for the layup. On the end of this drill, so we got a ball with the point guard in each line. At the end of this drill, all right, point guard, what do you think you're going to do? You're going to come right here. Ball goes in, you're going to come here, you're going to spread the court, you're going to make an outlet cut to receive the pass. Whoever the shooter is, is the five, it doesn't matter, five or four here, is going to take the ball out of the bounds, you ball your shot, you miss, you're going to take the ball out of the bounds, the quarterback position, baseball pass, hit that one man, you're going to sprint to half court. Right? One man pushes the ball with one dribble to the outside of the five and the four, and one lights here. Okay? You have the choice of shooting three, pass to him to shoot or to hit him as a slash, okay? That's this side of the court. Now, we got this going on this side of the court. Let's look at the other side of the court, coaches, and see what we're gonna do here, all right? Try to walk a little slowly here. Okay, over here, we have a two-man, a three-man. Coach, can I have you in the middle here? Guys, squeeze up here a little bit. Coach Worth here from Skyline's gonna stand right over here. Uh, I need, uh, Probably another ball. Just film this. We have two balls here. Let's have a catcher here. Let's have. Uh, let's just have you stand here. We're gonna get this drill in. You're gonna be feed him the balls. Okay, when you come back. All right. Coach Worth's gonna stand here in mid court. And what we're gonna work on here is his point guard pushing the mid court. And he's gonna pass this ball to that man sprinting on the three point line. So he catches it, ready to shoot. He shoots the ball. He rebounds the ball. The ball back here. Now we want this drill to alternate sides. So the next one, as he's going, he comes the next one on the other side here. He passes, he catches the ball in a position to shoot. What we're working on here is getting our hands up as we run. All you young players, I see this. Probably 90% of basketball players that play the game, they run like this. It comes to pass, boom, oh, like this. Because their hands aren't in the ready position. Learn to run with your hands up. Okay, I'm getting into shooting position. Wait, Mike. Just a little longer. You want me to have to catch that ball in that three-point line without having to put the ball on the floor. Okay, he's going to pass the ball here. I catch. I shoot. Okay? Right there. Put energy in my legs. I don't want to dribble. Okay? You want to think to yourself as uh, being on the end of a diving board. I like that concept. Or think of the energy that comes out of a popped champagne court. Right? A lot of young players, when they stop, they let the energy go on the floor. Right? They relax, and they have to get the energy back up in their legs in order to shoot the ball. That's why they use the wind-up, right? to get the energy back. And we want to keep the energy in our legs. You do that by stopping on your toes. With a one-contact stop, and the position shoot. When you catch the ball in a shooting position, right here, ready to go up straight, no hesitation, no extra time. So on this side of the court, we're alternating two and three man. You guys, when you shoot, you go to the other side of the line. All right, that's how the drill's going to work. So we're working on both shooting off the break and working on the 5-4 trailer man here. Okay, let's have you go up in the stands there.